Well, the Greater Sudbury Man is set to release his second independently made video game. He calls it a spin-off to a game he first released three years ago, and the local developer promises it will offer more laughs and scary scenes for the players. CTV's Alana Pickerel reports. Creating video games wasn't a lifelong dream for Chris LaRue. But with his first game already out on the market and a second set to be released sometime this year, he's proud of his career, even if it means long hours and multiple job titles. Generally what it takes is, you know, you have to wear all the hats. <laughs> so you have to be the producer, the um, programmer, animator, artist, uh, 3D modeler, um, rigging too. Uh, there's just a whole plethora of jobs that you have to do. LaRue's first game is called Tall Poppy, described as a horror adventure that sees a man searching for his wife's purse. Tall Poppy 2 is the next chapter. The husband comes back home from the church and he's trying to deliver the purse to his wife. Well, he finds out that his wife's not there and the mischievous Tall Poppy has kidnapped her. So it's our duty to go ahead and chase her down and well, go rescue her and uh, stop Tall Poppy's uh, terrible behavior. Although horror-based, those who play the game call it very inviting. It's not actually scary, but it startles you, and then you realize afterwards it wasn't actually, like, gory or anything. It's just a fun ghost. In preparation to release Tall Poppy 2, LaRue has some help this time around. It's different than what is on the market currently. Um, I feel like a lot of the horror games that are currently out are all similar in a sense that they're all kind of what is defined as a walking simulator. I think where Tall Poppy and Tall Poppy 2 get its uniqueness is we're trying to encompass a lot more to keep the the player involved. LaRue and Bendel says there's a lot of work that goes on behind the scenes when it comes to creating video games, like the long hours and multiple tasks. Yet, LaRue says there will be more to come. Alana Pickerel, CTV News, Sudbury.